Hello everyone, welcome back to Space Engineers. When we left off, we had a small little platform here. I said I was gonna expand it a little bit, which I have done, as well as do a bit of mining off camera, just cause it's slow and tedious still, and that when next video came out, we would start work on our first ship, which will of course be a mining ship, so that mining isn't so dreadfully painful and boring anymore. I have a few supplies already gathered. I believe I have everything I will need to make the initial ship. I kind of have a basis of a design set out already, but pretty sure I have all the components that I need already made, so hopefully it won't take too long, so hopefully it'll be a shorter episode. Uh, I'll most likely construct the ship off camera, but we can at least get the design of it laid out here. So, do hit G. To bring up the toolbar configuration menu down here we'll see new small ship click that we'll get a landing gear which is the basis of the small ship that you build off of now i actually don't plan on having the landing gear for very long on the ship it's just going to serve as a anchoring point so it doesn't float off into space while we're building on it We'll start off there and we'll lay down a couple of light armor blocks on top just to give us room to build and this is actually what we're going to build off of. Uh, once we build the rest of the ship we'll just grind the rest of that away and we'll have a free floating ship. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I plan on doing, I don't know if I have it, nope I have it on this bar here, is I will have a connector probably coming off sideways from this cargo container so i'll have to build this station out this way a little bit so that the asteroid doesn't get in the way but i'll have this connector here and a connector on the small ship so that after i mine we'll just dock to the connector and transfer everything over real quick um all right so let's get started the first thing i'm going to build off of this is going to be a large cargo container now this has become an issue as of late. I'm not sure when it, when the patch actually happened, but uh, it was probably a while ago because it's been so long since I played. But uh, cargo containers now increase in weight as you fill them with items, so the ship will become increasingly difficult to steer and slower to accelerate the longer it mines and the more full the cargo container gets. But it's the first ship, it's going to be slow anyway, so we'll just have to deal with it. Start off with that, and as you can see, I was trying to spin it around. You see it has a small and a large access port. Uh, if you bring up the mining drill, you can see on the sides and on the back of it, there it is. You can see it also has a small cargo port, so I was making sure that I had a front-facing cargo port, and we're going to place the mining drill just right on front of it, right there, right in the middle. And that's the initial thing. Uh, mining drill will drill up the ores for us, and they'll get sucked right into the large cargo container here. And that's also where I'll be putting connector. I uh, should probably get rid of that. Um, I had to go to a diff couple different asteroids to actually get all of the... Uh, ores that I needed to build everything, so very simple naming convention. I find an asteroid, name it AA, the next one's AB, AC, AD, so on and so forth. Go through the alphabet a bunch of times, so uh, plenty, plenty of room for expansion there, so um, get rid of that. I also have marked down important deposits for the different asteroids like magnesium which is used for ammunition and missiles uh, so that'll become important a bit later so i didn't actually mine it yet then there's some platinum i marked the uranium deposits because we're going to need some of that soon and the silicon deposit which becomes very important but uh we can get rid of all these since i'm not mining right now kind of clutter up the screen. Oh. 
So I wasn't able to look down at my hotbar and see what number the connector was assigned to. So I'm able to now. Now the small ship connector is a lot smaller. It has a large port on the back and two... No, it has four small access ports on the sides of it. So this, I believe when I placed the large cargo container, had a large access port right there. So click that down right there. Now I'm not going to mess too much with armoring and actually making like a design look good because currently most of our iron is going to go into expanding the floor space of our station so that we can slap down some more process some more refineries and assemblers and get our uh, processing going a lot faster <clears throat> excuse me again sorry about that uh a little lag there sorry so most of the iron's going to go towards the platform so i'm not going to waste too much time with uh, light armor blocks and actually making the ship look pretty because it's first ship it's going to be ugly no matter what we do and yeah that's pretty much it so next on the list we're gonna slap down the cockpit on top uh now the only things we're missing which is what we're gonna add to the back is well no there's a couple things we're missing actually I'm looking at the hot bar. Getting ahead of myself again. Uh, we're going to need, I think, two small reactors will suffice. I think. I have a similar ship in my single, my uh, personal survival world that is pretty much the same. So, and it's powered by just two reactors, so that should be good. Uh, we'll slap down the gyroscope right next to them. One's more than enough for a ship this small, even when it does get laden down with a lot of ore. So that'll be fine anyway. It's not going to handle like a dream anyway. So uh, We're going to need thrusters, and I'll get to those in just a moment. First, I want to get a spotlight on front so we can actually see what we're mining. And then ore detector right next to it, if I can. Kind of sticks out a bit, but that's all right. And the ore detector will uh, let us see a lot further into asteroids. So we generally, when I was looking at the other asteroids for the different ores to try and find, I would have to, I don't actually have my... Uh, mining drill on me right now but you have the personal mining drill out and it has a very limited ore detector on it so you kind of have to load around all the cracks and crevices of the different asteroids to try and find every deposit but with a even with just a small ship ore detector it greatly reduces the amount of travel around an asteroid you have to do to find all the deposits so that's very important to get on your first mining ship so Try and try and get that. <laughs> also, you can't use the uh, personal mining drill while inside a ship, so there's that too. Back to the build. I believe all we are missing now is the connector drill. We've all we're missing now is the thruster. Now I have thruster damage turned on, so I'm not sure if I were to place a thruster facing up right here, I th think it should be good and not damage the reactors and the gyroscope. So I only built six thruster components as you can see on the right side of the screen it uh takes one thruster component to build a small thruster for a small ship um i would you need six at least six thrusters on any ship one facing in each direction so that it can maneuver in all directions and stop no matter which direction it's facing in um i'm considering giving it a two 
backwards and forwards thrust, though, to help for when it gets a lot heavier. So I'm going to see if I can afford two more thruster components. Reduction. We not have enough gold. But we can. We are low on cobalt, we are low on gold, and we are platinum. So we'll come to the refinery. We're currently doing uranium right now, refining uranium, which is automatically getting sucked into our small reactor. So as you can see, we already have more than what we started with. So we should be good. We do have gold, platinum. So that'll take a little bit of time, so I can I will probably add on two more thrusters while I'm building this off camera. So uh I'll I can just let that go for now and do it later. Part that always gets me is trying to find a nice localized area to do Oh, they actually start with large steel tubes, so I can't really it. It's trying to find a nice localized area on the ship to place all the thrusters. I I don't like how I have to have them all spaced out because then they get all disorganized, disjointed, off-center. It makes everything look terrible. Tubes. Only one. Clear up the inventory a little bit then. Nine. There we go. Six, so let's take it back. And then we can back just to build with. Alright, so we'll probably go our two side thrusters next to the cockpit. This. <laughs> Yeah, that should be enough clearance for when we dock onto the station. So I will use conveyor tubes to uh, bring this out. Uh, maybe to there. That'll work. And I'll bring the uh, station or out a bit more too, just to you know, make it look stable. So just a long arm. I'd fall off. And we're low on energy already. Man, I've been talking a while. Refill really quick. 50% oxygen's plenty. Uh, I stopped carrying around the oxygen bottles with me. So just when I get below 30% oxygen, I run back, grab a bottle for two seconds, let it refill my oxygen, then toss it back in the oxygen generator. So there's two thrusters there. I will probably... Let's make this a little more symmetrical. I'm trying to get it without destroying, accidentally taking apart anything else, because there's only one com component in everything right now, so. <laughs> I could have very easily, instead of taking out the reactor and gyroscope, taken out you know, this thruster and the cockpit and the large cargo container, since there's only one of just one item and everything. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's making this symmetrical. There. There, then. This will seem awkward, but I'm going to place one here off center because then. Once the other thruster components and everything are ready, I will place another one right here to have two forward thrusters. I might go with just one backwards thrust. Put them. Yeah, that could work. Is there a wrong way? on there, probably. 
go. Again, I'll do two, so we'll just... When the thruster components are ready, and the... I'll have to make a couple more large steel tubes, I believe. I'll put another one right there. So now, all that's missing is up and down. I suppose we can go on the back here. That should be up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Uh, and the, is that everything? I think that's it. That's all the uh, components that we're gonna need. Gonna have to do a couple trips from the storage container to the small ship to get all the components I need to weld everything. You can see you can start welding as long as there's a couple components already in, but... Um, just one important note before I sign off for this episode is uh, before you detach the landing leg, whether you want to put the landing gear somewhere else on the ship, or if like me, you just don't want the landing gear at all for a certain ship. Uh, you want to make sure you have at least one thruster in each direction, so you'll need six thrusters. You'll need at least one reactor or solar panel or what have you to power those. And you'll also need a gyroscope so that it doesn't go spinning off in random directions. Um, you'll need at least those components before you can remove the landing light, because then it'll be... Uh, te technically it will be a dynamic object at that point, which means it can move around freely without, uh, without staying in place. So you might accidentally bump into it and send it flying off, and you'll never see the ship again. Lose those precious components that you need at the very start of the game. So, like I said, very quick, very, very ugly, but serve its purpose well. Uh, next episode, it should be complete. Uh, not sure if I'll have this done yet. I might do a couple mining runs. Uh, I'll save the first mining run with the ship for, uh, for you guys, but, uh, even then I'll probably won't complete this little arm here right away. Though I might, it will make getting materials into our refinery a lot easier, instead of having to go from the ship storage to the ship to the storage so i don't know I'll, I'll wing it as i go along i'll see what i feel like doing all right uh probably do a few more episodes at least get the ship running uh expand the station a little bit again probably not too active with the series uh no only have like what handful of subscribers so uh Probably just do like little updates on how the survival world's going every now and again instead of actually doing active building and stuff. Unless, you know, that's what people are interested in. We'll see how it goes. So, thanks for watching and take care.